My name is Alexandre Bibilado. My tag is Ayate. I'm from Montreal, Quebec. I don't really care about beating anybody in particular. I just look at the opponent in front of me and look to defeat them, and that's what I'm going to be doing. When I'm just like focusing on my one character that I love and master him to the fullest, that's where like I kind of have the most success. My real name is Curtis McCall. My gamer tag is Rewind, and I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. I don't know if I'm still riding that wave, but I stopped being character hopping. I was playing way too many characters, so I tried to get a really good character and just sit on him. I think once I did that, I won my first tournament. I won like five people who won a tournament this year, so I'd probably do it again. And, uh, yeah, big shout outs to Rewind too, uh, winning uh, Celtic Throwdown earlier uh, this year, and that's the the, the tournament. And, and and you know to to recall on what Rewind was saying there, very few players here have actually won a tournament. A lot of them have just been consistent, you know, the top eights, the top threes, the top fours, whatever right. have you, but very few of them have actually taken it all the way. And he's going to be going well. up against Hayate, who has also won a tournament with mm -hmm. uh, Viennality as well. All Aaron Black uh, throughout pretty much the majority of the pro competition. Uh, we did see a little bit of frost of him at one point, but mm. I think it's just going to be all Aaron Black. I think so too. I mean, you know, even looking back at the Injustice two days, uh, uh, Hayate using a lot of Robin, you know, despite <laughs> certain uh, struggles that a lot of uh, people in the Robin community, you know, felt that the character had, Hayate still producing results, and I think that that's more of a testament to how powerful of a player Hayate is. Just super clutch factor, always, always on the table, especially when big money's on the line. Hayate can produce, Hayate can come through and react with the best of them. Agreed. And you know, Hayate being here is a very interesting story because he won Viennality and then was having a little bit of a rough time as far as his standards would go. I mean, he's had some phenomenal placements. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but the both, of these, the both of these guys have had some amazing placements and then just kind of like had some trouble later on in the season. But this is their time. They've both been grinding super hard and they are ready for these finals. It is going to be Aaron Black against Rewind's few different characters. I know yeah, he's been yeah. playing a lot of upgraded Jackie lately. He does still have a Liu Kang at his disposal, but there's no telling who he's really going to be pretty much busting out first. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it could be, uh, and I, I wouldn't even be surprised if it was like a, a secret pick or maybe a character that we've never seen Rewind uh, using before. Rewind always playing different characters, always kind of, you know, testing, pushing right. the limits, you know, seeing what things work, seeing what things don't work. And, you know, just able to play with the best players, like, I mean, th that's what these guys are. They're all, a lot of them, a lot of these top competitors are all friends. You know, they get games together online, and, you know, obviously the netcode in this game is is flawless. It's flawless oh, netcode. So you get a great, you know, rep uh, replication of, uh, of an offline setting at, at <laughs> the convenience in your home. Just hop online, text a few friends, and say, hey, do you want to run some sets? I mean, I'm sure these guys have run countless games oh, yeah. together in the past as uh -huh. it is, so... Uh -huh. We'll just have to wait and see. And it's always kind of a cool thing when you have pretty much, if you're going up against someone that you used to play a lot online in mm -hmm. tournament, it kind of adds that extra layer uh, of mind game. Uh. So I'm wondering if we're going to be able to see a display <laughs> of that here. But again, it is going to be Hayate with Aaron Black. Only 52 card pickup. Not going to mess with any of those other variations. And then Rewind. If it's Jackie, it's going to be upgraded. First round knockout, still definitely on the table. But I think upgraded has just been the really big, I don't want to say flavor of the month, but it's really been an outbreak character as of late. So I would expect to see that come out first. Upgrade is definitely an outbreak character. Being able to leap in from pretty much anywhere on the screen, uh, it's a really great way to kind of get in on any opponent that's trying to establish, you know, any kind of zoning game, mm -hmm. uh, any kind of like trap setups. Like Jackie's just always one, one leap away from just taking her fist and it's pounding the you in the face. It really it's is so the good. utility on top of the little bits of mix-ups. I mean being able to just have that kind of mobility going up against Aaron Black might work really well, but Aaron Black as well, and Hayate especially with the fundamentals that he oh, has. Oh, yes. It is going yes, to yes. be an interesting set as we go ahead and move forward. But now, looking into this, we now, again, obviously, like we said, Aaron Black probably yeah, going yeah. up against Upgraded. If Upgraded doesn't work out, I expect to see a character change depending on how the game goes, but I expect this to go the absolute Aaron distance. Black. I definitely do too. And remember guys, every set here throughout the entire tournament, these top 16 players uh, is gonna be three out to five, three out of five. So, you know, you get a few games to adjust, you know, you could, you know, get that first game to try something new, see if it works and then go back to plan A if plan B just doesn't pan your way. No and intros, they're all business right now. We're going straight into it, rewind. Rocking with the upgraded 
Trying to establish a little bit of damage, and we're already seeing all that mobility that Jackie displays. But Hayate, being that this that Jackie upgraded is one of the big outbreak characters, you have to expect everyone to be ready for her as well. And we're already seeing that out of Hayate. But now rewind, forcing Hayate off of the breakaway, and the momentum already started. Getting the back throw here, and Jackie just leaping over to the front of the stage here at final combat, getting all that real estate, and gonna be cashing in big here. Two amplified offensive bars here for a lot of damage, a lot of screen carry, and great Oki. She's still going, she's still going, she's still going. Rewind, taking that first round. There were no breaks to be had in that first round. That was all rewind, and just that suffocating pressure, and an accidental breakaway, that had to have been a mistake. Now Hayate is going to be able to run with it, but gets clipped by the lead from full screen. Forced to break away, and again, rewind. It's just coming out of the gate, swinging. 25%, 35%, it's all over the board. Hayate needs to stop this momentum in any way that he can. And rewind kind of, oh, tucking right under the throw, but Jackie just kind of comes back way too soon, and Hayate knew that the window was gone, doesn't block the low, the low option is very unsafe. Escape filled, so it's going to set up for the back throw, crushing blow from Hayate, if he even gets the opportunity to do so. And he's just, Hayate's just trying to lock down Rewind and keep him grounded for as long as possible, but it's only a matter of time before Rewind finds himself back in the air, and that was all Rewind there in game number one. Hayate has some thinking to do. Definitely has some thinking to do. And, uh, you know, if, if there is a character out there that he's using besides Aaron Black, it might be the time to, to dip Please. in and grab that character. But I don't think that character exists. I don't Aaron Black it. all the way here. The down threes to kind of try to influence or try to look for the hit and taking advantage there. But backing off on hit, that's a big whiff and that's a big punch. Pop it up in the corner. Hey, out he's forced to come off that breakaway. This is, this is dangerous. No breakaway to work with and back to the wall. Against upgraded Jackie, beautiful down three anti-air, but missing these conversions. You cannot leave damage like that on the table. And now Rewind is going to start that momentum again. The back grab into all of this pressure and so much damage to be had. Oh man, 38% here. And I love how, can, can I give you props for going with the <laughs> hits as they came out? I loved it, it was beautiful. <laughs> the dash punch from downtown, always a threat as well as you're jumping. Good block of the double overhead and Hayate starting something here, launching up with the rifle. And good awareness of the meter there, knowing the breakaway was coming, utilizing those six shots left there in the gun. Hayate needs to be careful throwing out buttons like that. If a poke gets blocked, that's it. That is the end of your turn. Now Jackie has that 9 frame mid to bully pretty much any other button. But nice little tip guard by Hayate is going to do a decent amount of damage into the Oki. We're seeing Hayate keep Rewind grounded, and this is why he has the life lead. He needs to keep doing what he's doing. Now this is scary because Rewind does have access to Fatal Blow, so could potentially put Hayate in a very, very bad spot. Oh, hold on! Doesn't go to the whole thing. These misconversions are killing Hayate right now, but he's going to be able to close out this second round. Much better performance. Hayate answering back, just got to tighten up those conversions, and he can easily bring us to another 1-1 one, one tie. Beautiful anti-air with the down one, the down front punch there. Oh. And that's going to cash it in. Big is Hayate dropping the ass, and he knew that breakaway was coming. So aware, so smart. The nice tech. Rewind going for a lot of back grabs. I have to keep him grounded again, and a headbutt right to the skull. Sending him full screen. Good blocking of that. Hayate's not taking any chances. He's not looking for that dash punch and ducking without blocking. He, oh, hold on a second. Back throw, what is Rewind gonna do? Walking up another throw, but this time Hayate reacts and guesses the right direction. He doesn't have to overextend. Hayate still has a ton of life lead to work with. He's just gonna take his time, chip him out a little bit, and eventually be able to find that window, throw down that acid puddle, and let Rewind hang himself. But the double down one, I respect it. A quick answer back from Hayate. The I, one, one. I feel like Hayate is committing heavily to the fact that, you know, I'm not going to be worried about the low. I know the low is the unsafe option that I can punish for a lot of damage, but it's not worth it. It's not worth letting her get away with, you know, the overheads because th th that leads into a lot of damage and it's safe. So I, I think Rewind kind of needs to, to, to look at that and, and realize that, okay, Hayate is just going to let me go low almost every single time. Uh, possibly just to mix things up there, just to shake up the mind that's going on there in Hayate. 
Nice little delay on the 1-1 one there. Catching high off the pressing buttons, forcing him off of the breakaway. And that, that's really important, especially when you're going up against players of this caliber. You need to get rid of that defensive bar immediately. And that is the case for now. Both players, the next touch will end up hurting a lot. Into some Oki. Nice little pickup by Rewind. The conversions are just on point. A little low profile there on the down three of Hayate. You can tell he's starting to get into it. <laughs> to the face. Max distance there, requirement for the crushing blows. She's got no, def I'm sorry, she doesn't have breakaway available at all, so I think it's the full combo. And we're gonna be canceling into something else, going for the overhead, great block by Rewind, and gets the throw right after the down one, the down poke. The frame advantage going to the side of Rewind, and he knew Teate was gonna be sitting there blocking, trying not to get hit by what was coming next. And then just in case, did the forward grab, which is honestly yes. like the least, Obvious thing that you could have possibly thought about at that moment. Hayate using that breakaway has to get himself out of the corner. Rewind giving him a chance to do so. And, and that's another example of throw mix there from Rewind. He went for the back throw to put himself in the corner, and Hayate is always checking the throw that he's expecting and not checking any throw that time. Forward throw, Rewind's got a lot of real estate, but he needs to get in the low, amplifying it for a little bit more damage. The low again, Hayate committed to not blocking the low at all. And Rewind about to go up two to one. Yes, he is with the grease kick, 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 kick. That was beautiful. And you know what? When you don't have defensive meter, you're a lot more antsy to throw out buttons. And that's why all those grabs were so effective from Rewind. That was a beautiful display of just player tendency knowledge. Mm. That makes me believe these two have played each other quite a few times in the past. But you got to do the tech that you mentioned before. Just do something different from the last time we played in a casual setting. Just do one thing that's different. Oh, that jump in one reaches so, 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 so far. And Jackie starting off here. Rewind, putting Heate up against the ropes, back up against the wall. Heate, beautiful stagger, but he wins the back to 2-2. Two, two, and Rewind is taking full advantage here. That is so heartbreaking to see that, but he's got to stay composed. Little mistakes like that. Missed the conversion off of that forward three. Hayate just getting bullied with this pressure. But now finally being able to keep Rewind grounded again. That's where the success is going to come from. We can see another forward fort. No, <laughs> the down three. Uh, we want possibly looking to move or buy. Oh, hold on! You can cancel those jump buttons into something that Hayate was not seeing coming. And I feel like Rewind's success rate with all these lows so so high. I think it's at a hundred percent efficiency. Oh, it has to be. I mean, at least eighty percent, right? He's been getting a lot of damage done just from those lows. And finally, the block. Not going to spend the crushing blow. He's going to do as much damage as he can. Keep the corner positioning. Acid is in play. But Rewind out of there. Wants nothing to do with it. And Rewind not even risking the short hop tech there. Just says, you know what? If he does the meter burn, I will just block it. Down four. Hayate fighting his way out of the corner. Trying to poke his way out of the corner. The spacing from Rewind is absolutely immaculate here. And Hayate coming off those two bars. Rewind knocking on the door. Trying to win this. But hold on a second. Hayate. Launching him up, forcing him off of his breaker. He needs to be careful. One more touch will certainly do it. And Rewind will be closing out the set. Three to one. Very close. One little touch in the fatal blow would have been able to have Hayate answer that with that round. But now Rewind will advance into the winner's side. Not much more to say, really, just that mobility and the utility that upgraded Jackie brings to the table just makes it so 